Colin Sexton endeared himself to the Cavaliers with his competitive streak, speed and attitude long before they picked him in the NBA draft. His jersey number showed them something else. He's fearless. Sexton made quite a first impression by deciding to take no. 2. His college number, but also the one previously worn in Cleveland by all star point guard Kiri Irving. After showing off his jersey at a news conference on Friday, Saturday, Manila time, Sexton said he doesn't feel pressured to live up to Irving's high standards. Not at all, he said. Coming in, I'm going to set goals for myself, and then as well there's going to be team goals set. But I feel like I'm not going to have to live up to anybody's shoes, but I'm going to come in and learn and be the best player I can be on the court as well as off the court. Some Cleveland fans feel number two should be retired. After all, Irving made the biggest shot in franchise history in Game 7 of the 2016 Finals before asking to be traded last summer to escape the daunting shadow cast by LeBron James. Maybe one day number two will hang in the rafters. For now, it belongs to Sexton. With an eye toward rebuilding and maybe persuading James to re sign this summer, the Cavs selected Sexton, the lightning quick Alabama point guard, on Thursday night with the no. 8 overall pick. As a freshman, the 19 year old Sexton carried the Crimson Tide to the NCAA tournament for a brief time giving the school's rabid football fans a late winter diversion before coach Nick Saban blew his whistle in spring practice. The Cavs believe Sexton, who earned his young bull nickname in high school for his charge ahead playing style, can help them finally offset the loss of Irving. Without him, Cleveland lacked a dependable second scoring option for James, the club spent the entire season with a virtual revolving door at the position as coach Tyron Lue started eight point guards. Irving's absence was never felt more than in the finals as the Golden State Warriors only had to concentrate on James. The Cavs didn't have another player capable of breaking down their defense. Sexton gives Cleveland a new weapon. He's in good hands. At Alabama, Sexton played for former NBA guard Avery Johnson, and he's being passed to Cavs coach Tyron Lue, a 14-year pro looking forward to developing the youngster. I've watched him play, Lue said. I understand who he is as a player and as a person, talked to his parents a lot throughout the course of his college selection, so I know them very well. I'm just excited, man. To be able to have a young talent that I can help mold and build and make better and teach him what suit to wear, what shoes to wear with a suit, how to tie a tie, when you go to dinner, things like that that Brian Shaw and Robert Horry and Ron Harper and those guys taught me, so I'm very excited about that. Dot Sexton wowed the Cavs during his personal workout, which came one day after Cleveland was swept by the Warriors. He attended Game 4, and as he witnessed James, Kevin Durant and others competing at the highest level the game offers, Sexton could imagine one day being part of the action. Like the seats were shaking, he said. Fans were screaming. Just I feel like I'll be ready to play in something like that when it's my time. Dot Sexton smiled throughout his introductory news conference, which came following a nearly sleepless night in New York. And while he came across as a seagoing and affable, there's a darker side to Sexton. On the floor, he's ferocious. When you get between those lines, there's no friends, he said. When you get between those lines, it's us against them, and we're trying to win. It's like a switch that cuts on. It's go time when you get on the court.